episode 9 of Print and Paint. Uh, today I'm going to do another mini and I'm going to do the classic Space Marine from Warhammer 40k. I found this one on Thingiverse, it's from Alex Martin 99999 and uh, let's print. Okay, so here I'm in Cheeto Box. I'm trying to find the right angle for this one. It's pretty hard, like there is a lot of details and tricky part to support so I just start right from the bat, I just go manual support. Try to hide quite a nice one, like strong support at the bottom, of course it's gonna support a lot of the weight. And the feet are fine, like you can do any damage on the feet, you know, you don't care, so it's pretty easy. And then I just walk my way up slowly to the model, checking every alien, making sure I'm, I'm fine. And you try to switch between light support and medium depending on how much you're gonna have to support. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. If it's just a tiny island for a couple of layers, then that's fine, you just go with light and then with heavier. In Tinkercad, so I went online and find all those models, the arch, the walls here and some rocks and everything. So I had a small idea of what I was going for. So here I'm in Tinkercad, I'm just cutting what I need, adjust the size, I imported the, the plate as well, the base plate, so I can have my idea. I can just, basically I'm just making my model in Tinkercad. And here I have all my dimension. Trying to adjust some rocks. Got my idea here. And then when I'm done, I just export the whole thing in STL file and go back in G2Box and working on support again. Nothing really complex, just taking a look sometimes. But I'd rather have, I don't know, 10 more minutes in G2Box than reprint the whole thing again. Here, same thing for the rocks and the, the walls. I added some motor support here, I think for with heavy support, and I went back with manual to finish the job. So here I finished the print. Uh, I have my Space Marine. Everything is fine. I didn't spend too much time cleaning the print. I went ahead and primed in black and then Zenithal Highlight. I've put together the base. So I've used some super glue, built my whole thing and uh, just put primer, black primer on top. That would be enough for the base. And let's get painting. Okay, so the painting. I chose orange for this one. I like the color orange and I couldn't really find Space Marine like with orange color. I don't know much about the, the lore of like war more in general and stuff. So I just went freestyle. Uh, my base coat was um, some flesh flesh tone i'm not sure which one exactly i don't remember on the spot here but you could have went with some a bit maybe brown but i started with flesh tone then orange on top i wanted to keep everything bright for the orange because it's really hard to to have a nice base coat and so here i had my base coat on orange i went ahead and did the seams between the armor so everything black in the in the recess and I added a little bit of color with uh, red for the shoulder pad and the knee pad. Some of the piece of the armor here I'm going with gray. I was thinking about metal paint but I think gray is better. And same for the highlight here, I start on my highlight process. I go with, I think it's another flesh kind of tone but uh, lighter, way lighter than the first one. So I, I'm not just taking orange and mixing it with white. I try to find some color instead, like trying to have a gradient of color. That's why I had flesh tone for the, the base, the darkened part of the base, and then for the highlight. Doing the same for the, the red part and the shoulder pad. Here I'm going one more time on the edge, but this time I'm using yellow. So like the, the, the first highlight with the flesh tone was nice 
it was bringing a lot of uh, of volume to the model but i wanted more color i always want to try to to add more color on this one so yellow was kind of the obvious choice to to make a good highlight so going back all over with yellow here on the base, I start with some uh, I've just, uh, cat liters. It's really cheap and I got plenty of it. So I did the side of the wall with some more like a uh, rocky, like uh, big part of what I have. And then I smashed some of them to have a more like, thin powder. And I did the middle of it. Here I apply some base coat. I'm not sure exactly what color I'm going for, but I mix the color with some PVA glue because I want the whole thing to set together. So I just, yeah, even the color here change a bit, but that's fine. It's even better to have some kind of different tone. I use gray, just classic for, for the walls. Then I went back with some really like diluted gray for the, the rocks. I'm not really concerned about the color. And here I'm using the last highlight on the model. So I just use white and just taking one, one side of the armor to have the, the shiny part and just adding white highlight. And I'm finishing some small detail like the front plate and, and things, eyes and everything. So here I'm back on the base. Sorry for the camera, it's a bit blurry. I'm just uh, dry brushing colors. I want to add colors to, to this thing. I don't want the things to say, stay gray. So I'm using some kind of yellow, brownish and purple on top. Then after it, I just uh, wash everything with black, trying to get an idea, blending everything. And here I'm dry brushing with some yellowish, brownish color on top. So same idea, I want to add some some volume, some highlight, but I want to keep some colors. Adding some details right now, so gold and copper for some of the, the small details. And here at the end, I just smash some chalk and trying to get some pigment just to add some like texture to it. So here I am done with the Space Marine. So this one it's not quite a diorama and it's not a gaming piece either, but I had a nice composition trying to mix both of them together. You can try to tell a story. The more you add to the base, I think the, the more story you have. So of course a diorama really expands it way further, but when you have a, a small mix of both like this, the model and the base, you're getting something interesting and quite small as well. So I really enjoy it and I would definitely do more of it. And uh, the painting style of GW is pretty nice. It's mostly H-highlighting, but I've learned quite a lot, so see you in the next episode.